This evening, my colleagues Colin Dennis, our President-elect, and John Kuplin, our President-elect designate, will join me in announcing and congratulating our fellows. Good evening. Tonight, we have the opportunity to celebrate the contributions that important members of our community have made. The jury has chosen 12 members for this honor, and ladies and gentlemen, we're delighted to introduce these new fellows to you. Cheryl Barringer, Ohio State University, Professor and Chair, the Department of Food Science and Technology. Cheryl holds a BS with highest honors in food science from the University of Illinois and a PhD in food science and nutrition from the University of Minnesota, where she was the National Needs Fellow with the US Department of Agriculture. She teaches highly regarded courses in processing, technical problem solving, and chocolate science. Her research is in flavor volatiles, coatings, snack foods, and fruit and vegetable processing. Cheryl is associate editor of the Food and Food Ingredients Journal of Japan and a very active IFT volunteer. In 2009-10, she served as chair of the IFT's Food Engineering Division and is now chair of IFT's Education, Extension and Outreach Division. Janet Collins, CropLife America, Senior Vice President, Science and Regulatory Affairs. <laughs> Janet is the only registered dietitian to serve as an IFT president. She has more than 35 years of professional experience in academic and industry settings, including tenured positions in the University of Wyoming and Middle End College in Chicago and held leadership positions in science and regulatory affairs. Her academic appointment included fulfilling responsibilities at the interface of food science and dietetics and conducting research in meat science. Her industry leadership positions comprise global biotechnology manager and senior manager of corporate regulatory affairs at DuPont and director of global regulatory organizations at Monsanto. Currently leading the scientific and regulatory affairs function at CropLife America, Janice has also provided ex executive leadership for the American Meat Institute and the National Cattlemen's Beef Association and National Dairy Council. H. Russell Cross, Texas A&M University, professor and head of Department of Animal Science. H. Russell Cross has experience as an academic, food research scientist, research supervisor, industry chief executive officer, administrator of food safety inspection service of the US Department of Agriculture, and executive vice president of Texas A&M University. He confronted major issues in the meat industry and made significant changes for the betterment of both consumers and the industry. His knowledge is greatly valued by professionals in the meat industry, at regulatory agencies, and in academia. He has successfully implemented changes within the food system that continue to influence education, farm practices, meat inspection and grading, as well as meat industry procedures and consumer safety. Our next 2015 IFT Fellow is Erie H. Ruths from the University College Cork, Professor and Head of the School of Food and Nutritional Sciences. <laughs> Erie is known for his teaching and research of phase and state transitions of food materials and the use of glass transitions and state diagrams in food engineering and technology as fundamental concepts for improved food processes processing and stability control. He contributed to the understanding of crystallization phenomena and reaction kinetics in food products, while emphasizing the importance of time temperature on, on non-equilibrium characteristics of food materials. He has served in academia and the food industry and trained numerous scientists in Europe, United States, and Asia.
Our next IFT fellow is Michael Eskin, University of Manitoba, Professor, Department of Human Nutrition and Sciences. Michael has published 125 research papers, 13 books and more than 50 chapters. His book, Biochemistry of Foods, first published in 1971, has become a classic. The third edition was released in 2013 and is being translated into Portuguese. Michael conducted important research that helped establish canola oil worldwide. He is a recipient of a number of prestigious awards from the Institute of Food Technologists, the American Oil Chemist Society, and the Canadian Institute of Food Science and Technology, and is co-editor of Lipid Technology. In recent years, he has become better known for his Lipid Science rap songs on YouTube. <laughs> Unfortunately, Michael is not able to be here tonight, otherwise he would have probably given us a rapping rendition. But give him a round of applause. Harjinder Singh, Massey University, Head of School of Food and Nutrition. <laughs> Distinguished Professor Singh is Head of School of Food and Nutrition and Co-Director of the Riddick Institute at Massey University. He received his PhD from University College Cork and has been with Massey University since 1989. Hajinda is a fellow of the Royal Society of New Zealand and the International Academy of Food Science and Technology. He has received several awards and in 2012, he was co-recipient of the Prime Minister's Science Prize. Hajinda has published more than 3,000 research papers in international journals and presented, <laughs> did I say 3,000 or 300? and presented 100 keynote addresses at international conferences. Our next fellow this year is Olga Martin Beloso from the University of Leida, where she's a professor in the Department of Food Technology. Olga created the research group Novel Technologies for Food Processing 20 years ago to obtain safe, fresh-like, nutritious, and attractive foods through innovative approaches and technologies in a sustainable way that includes valorization of byproducts. She led technology transfer to the industry in a center devoted to canned vegetables. Olga also supported the industry industrial implementation of HACCP and quality management systems, providing an innovative boost to the canned vegetables industry in Spain. She participated in the establishment of IFT's non-thermal uh, processing division and has been an associate editor of the Journal of Food Science since 2008. Our next fellow is Hyunjin Park from Korea University, where he's a professor in the College of Life Sciences and Biotechnology. Hyun Jin has distinguished himself as an internationally renowned authority in food engineering, packaging, and nano food materials. He has devoted his entire professional career to research, education, and to international collaboration in those fields. He has published 195 articles in peer-reviewed journals, two textbooks, three book chapters, and 144 research abstracts, as well as obtaining 22 patents. He was vice president of the Korean Society of Food Science and Technology last year, he made technology transfer to the industry 12 times and gave 56 speeches. He has successfully obtained more than 9 million in funding as a program director of 79 projects while advising 53 masters and 31 doctorate students. A crowning achievement is his multi-million dollar, multi-institutional project that led to the establishment of the Center for Functional Food Ingredients in Korea. Our next fellow is Julian McClements from the University of Massachusetts Amherst, where he's a professor in the Department of Food Science. <laughs> Julian received his PhD in food science from the University of Leeds and conducted postdoctoral research at the University of Leeds, the University of California Davis, and University College Cork. He has authored and co-authored four books, edited or co-edited six books, published more than 600 scientific articles in peer-reviewed journals, published more than 50 book chapters, and obtained three patents. 
He's also been a pretty fine advisor postdocs, as I can say from my own personal experience. <laughs> In recognition of his scientific achievements, he's received awards from the American Chemical Society, the American Oil Chemists Society, the Society of Chemical Industry, IFT, the Royal Society of Chemistry, and the University of Massachusetts Amherst. Our next fellow is uh, Christopher R. Daubert from North Carolina State University, where he's the professor and head in the Department of Food Bioprocessing and Nutrition Sciences. An accomplished professor at North Carolina State University, Christopher continues to make exemplary contributions to food science through his dynamic engineering program and visionary leadership as department head of a highly respected food science program. Christopher is an internationally recognized expert on food rheology and texture, and he applies fundamental knowledge of rheology and ke physical chemical models to explain ingredient functionality. His scientific innovations reveal how food structure impacts rheological behavior and, and textual perception. He has consistently po positioned his program at the forefront of new technologies that will accelerate advances in food design. Our next fellow is Gao Qin Yen from the National Chengxing University, where he's a chaired professor in the Department of Food Science and Biotechnology. Gao Qian is recognized for his outstanding and substantial work to promote optimal health and wellness of the food supply and is dedicated teaching, mentoring, and service in food science education. He is an internationally renowned expert in molecular food chemistry, food safety, and in functional foods. Gao Qian has made contributions to the advancement of food science and safety in Taiwan and to IFT through research and development. He has published more than 250 peer-reviewed articles with high citation rates. He is a fellow of four professional organizations, and he serves as an associate editor of the Journal of Food Science. He's been an IFT member since 1981. Our next fellow is Greg Ziegler from Pen the Pennsylvania State University, where he's a professor in the Department of Food Science. Greg is recognized as an advocate for the profession of food science, an academic leader, a passionate teacher, and a mentor for students. He's also renowned for his outstanding research in food process engineering. Greg's research focuses on food as material composites with properties governed by the physical and chemical interactions of their, of their constituents. I might also add that Greg is really good at running search committees. <laughs> his research to understanding the physical and structural transformations occurring in chocolate occur I apologize. His research to understand the physical and structural transformations occurring in chocolate during conching helped to transform the process from an art to a science. His long-term efforts to understand biopolymer behavior have resulted in basic and applied knowledge benefiting both academia and industry. His work has resulted in more than 100 peer-reviewed publications. Thank you, John and Colin, and congratulations to our 2015 IFT Fellows. Let's give them all a round of applause. <laughs> 